Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a website completely free. This is 100% free, doesn't require any technical knowledge. You do not need to know coding or anything. This tool is completely drag and drop based. And the best part is you do not have to worry about the maintenance, security, because it is provided by Google itself. So if you want, you can use this website and all its feature completely for free. If you want to make it more professional, you can invest in a domain, but I will explain that later. So this website, I'm exactly going to show you how to replicate this. This is a demo website I have created for this tutorial. You can see this is for a small bakery business and it looks like this. You can hear, you can see here, we have some products page. We have a contact us option, CT, call to action. Then we have our contact information an FAQ here that it's completely editable and then we have multiple pages here For example we have a menu page here and you can see it's really fast and looks really nice then we have a gallery page here okay if you want you can customize it any way you want uh, this is just for this tutorial I have created a website you can see here this is our story page and you can add some nice images of your team members here then we have a contact us page where you can list your map, uh, your location, your email, phone number, social media, your timings, and again, an FAQ. And then we have also terms and conditions and refund policy. Okay, so let's go back to homepage. And if you want to create a website like this, you have simple needs for a simple business, okay? then i would really recommend you to try this tool once and see if this will fit your requirements so let's get started first thing you have to do is go to google sites okay and you need a gmail account for this so this is the url sites.google.com you can type this or check the link in the description from there you can find this and from here first thing you can do is go to template gallery Though the options are quite limited here, but still, if you want, you can check out and see if something matches your requirements. And from here, you can get started and then edit the content of the template according to your needs. But I will show you how to do it completely from scratch. For that, go to blank site, then here. So this is the header content, and I would recommend you to follow the step-by-step -step instructions if you want to complete your website okay i will close this option this is the the main components of any website is a header then we have this content and then we will have a footer now before starting designing our website we need to create blank pages and then we can start designing its content so to create a new page go to pages here and you can see all the current pages of your website right now there is only one home page this is the page then to add a new page click here then you can you have this options new menu section embed new link and new page so i will click on new page for example i will make it menu click on done then again i will add a new page our story gallery contact us and and I will show you how this uh, menu section works. Okay, so for this is for the drop down options. If I click here and then I create a page policies, click on done. So this option you can see here it's available here, but um, if you you cannot click on it, then click on this three dots and create on add sub page. So you can use this for terms and conditions, cookie policies, and we do not need to add uh, all these pages to our navigation bar. So instead of that, we can just add a policy option and then uh, under that, we can add all these sub pages. Click on done. Then again, you click here and let's create a page refund policy. Click on done. Okay. Now if you want, you can also add a sub page under this terms for example cookie policy okay you can do that click on done now if you want to change the order uh, this pages are visible then also you can just simply drag and drop them here and you can change the menu option here okay 
now there is one thing that uh, sometimes these pages are not visible so make sure if you click on three dots here uh, the option should be selected if currently you can see hide from navigation so it will not show here now if you want to make it again visible click on show in navigation also for this show in navigation okay now let's start designing our page for that first go to the page you want to design let's start with the home page we'll then go to insert here and let's write a title for our page example i will add bakery then from here this is the header we can make a select a cover type header large banner title only or a banner option okay i would prefer a large banner here then click here let's upload our image here so i've selected this image click on open and that's it okay so it looks nice and you can also try to change the header type like banner i think large banner looks uh, much better here now let's add some content for that you can uh, pick a content block from here or you can also select individual elements from here there are a lot of options some individual common elements are also available here so for our page i will select first this content block and i will upload some images okay that's how simple it is to fill your content block now there are also some design options available for each block for example you can click here and change the style you can see there is a little difference in the color if i make it like this then you can it is much more noticeable okay so i will make it uh, style one and let's add uh, the content so you can see here then i have added a text here and then this images and a contact us option let's do that so first we can add a text box here text box let's add products and um, you can select this and you can make it a title and let's center this okay now if i want to change its style then i can go here and change this now if i want to change the color of the style for that you have to go to themes and from here you can change the color if you want a custom color then you can go here and pick a different color you can similarly also change the style it will automatically change all the elements for example if i select this you can see here it will change the fonts and the coloring style similarly if i select this and this okay for this tutorial i'm going to keep it simple now let's add another content block go to insert here then i will select this upload images now you can see here i have added an image of cupcakes and a fresh bread but i don't like this image i want to replace this so for that just click here and sometimes you have to double click on the element that you want to replace then go to three dots here replace image then upload i want to select this image okay it looks much nice I have added a title for this images and uh, I don't want to add anything here then I can simply delete and remove them otherwise it will display extra space here now let's add a contact us button here then in link you can link to your pages I will select the contact us page and click on insert so if I want to um, change its style here and I will drag and drop to the middle of the page here okay and that's how simple it is now i will add a text box here and let's uh, name it visit us and i want it to be a heading let's make it center if you want you can also try to make it uh, like this or title and you can also change the font size directly also here if you I want more control over this and like this all right let's add a map element scroll down here click on map then drop a place mark so you have to what you have to do is um, zoom in actually you can also search for the location here and um, once you find your location then you can drop the marker here 
okay now let's add our contact information just to make it easier for anyone visiting a website to contact us for example i want to add a text box here and um, let's make it order now okay now you will see that uh, this text box is here but i want to move it to here so sometimes you have to select the element otherwise if i you try to drag it from here you can see you will not be able to drag it to this side where you, we want to add it will simply go to up here so what we have to do is uh, go to the element which you want to drag then select that okay now if i select this then i can drag it here now let's make it um, center let's make it a title and uh, then we can add our contact okay similarly if we want to make uh, replicate this section quickly we can do that from here let's make it a duplicate and drag and drop here so i have also added our opening hours and opening days let's also add a social media link uh, also let's make this uh, text content a little short so i think 18 will be fine yep. okay and for social media here we can find social links and all you have to do is just copy and paste your social media profile links okay if you want to add more social media then you can you have this option add link and then um, you can do that i will click on insert and i can have the option of making it colored and i will simply drag it here so we have added good content and let's also add a faq and in FAQ here, I have added some common question and answers. Um, so that's it. And let's add a footer here. So you can add a small uh, like copyright. So now let's preview this page. And to do that, we have to go here, click on this option. And you can see this is the website we just created. And it looks exactly like the website I showed you earlier, right? So this is how easy it is to use this website tool. And if you want to know how it will look on tablet, then you can select this option and see. Similarly for mobile, you can see here. Okay, you can see on mobile, the menu navigation changes and it is automatically responsive and optimized for mobile without you doing requiring any special efforts. And it looks really nice and uh, usable on mobile. Now let's uh, close this preview. Now if you go to settings here, you can change the navigation from top to side here. But I would suggest you to uh, keep it at top here and um, go to brand images here. Here you can upload your logo and Fabicon. So logo and in alt text you can actually write your business name. So this is good for SEO and in Fabicon here. I will select this. So Favicon is basically this small icon that you see. For example, for Gmail, you see it's Favicon um, icon here. And this helps in, uh, especially for mobile devices and um, things like that. And um, you can completely create it for free on your, just go to Google and search for free Favicon and uh, you can create it easily. All right, and there are some other tools available here. So custom domain so i will explain this later and we also have analytics options and announcement bar announcement bar will be visible here so you can use this in case there is some special offer running or something like that so you can turn on this option and you can write your special discount 50 percent off so you can decide if you want it to be visible on all pages and or only on the home page things like that and I will disable this and close this and let's enter our site name here. So our home page design is complete. It looks really nice and it's really functional. Now, similarly, we have to design all our other pages. So for example, if you want to design the menu page, go to menu here. Again, repeat the same process. You can upload the image for the uh, menu here, header. So now I will show you how I have created all these pages on this uh, demo site I have created. 
So this will save a lot of time and you can learn how to quickly do it. All right. Now you can see here, I can go to the pages settings here, then go to menu or you can also click here. Okay. So to create this menu page, I have again created the header in a similar way. You can edit this and you can upload the image. Okay. Now for this, I have used, if I go to insert here, I have used this simple block of this. Okay. This uh, image and a content. I will delete this. So I have uploaded this image here. This is the title and this is the menu. And similarly, I've added a contact us button. That's it. And for gallery, I have used this content block, this image option. Okay. So if you click here and then you have to upload all the images and then it will uh, start moving. And for this content, I have used this block. Similarly, I have used this contact option and this is the social link block. You can also drag and drop it anywhere you want. Okay. So I have simply added and for our story, I have used this block image and uh, this block. Okay. So this is the image and this is our title. And then I have added this text box block here. And for this images, I have used this block. Okay. And this is the standard button block here. All right. And go to contact us. So this is our map and this is the contact us section that we created on the home page. And I FAQ also here. For policies, you can um, go to terms and conditions. I have not created designed this. I want to keep it simple and just uh, list your terms and policies and all that uh, legal stuff here. Okay, so this is how easy it is to create a free website. And when you are done with designing your website, to publish your website and share it with everyone, you can hit this publish button. Then you have to add a web address for this. So I have named my website Small Bakery BB. And uh, if you want to add a custom domain, uh, as I explained that uh, you can do that. For that, you will have to purchase a domain that will cost you about 10 to $15 every year. And then you can connect it. But uh, if you want that tutorial, please let me know in the comments and I will create that. Uh, so that's the only paid part if and it's completely optional only if you want to have a custom domain you can do that otherwise you can access your website over this link and then click on publish now our website has been published and you can find the url from here click on this drop down option click on view published website and you can see this is our website and this is the url so if you want to share your website link with anyone, you can just uh, copy this URL. You can copy this URL and uh, share it with them. Okay. If you want a custom domain, then you can also do that. So that option is also available, but it's otherwise this website is completely free and it's really easy and it's really a very good option for many small businesses who just want a simple website and do not have any complicated requirements. So I hope this tutorial was useful and um, and if you have any queries please post them in the comment section i will try to help you out